I have joined me on phone for an update on the disaster the heat casino state, our correspondent Awal Ibrahim. Good morning, Ibrahim. Uh, what can you tell us now as we get um, that sad development in casino? Uh, hello? Good morning, I can hear you. Yeah, good morning. Go ahead, Ibrahim. What update do you have on that sad development in Casino State? Well, actually, for now, about uh, 1,140 people have been registered in the primary school, which is serving as the IDP center for the victim. And food items have also been provided, as from yesterday, from what I've just seen this morning. They are served the we are staff dinner and now the breakfast is on. The I think uh, the first package of relief that comes to them was from the governor's office, which was more of a personal donation, I think. And these are the list of food stops for now. About three hundred bags of rice, two hundred bags of meat, one hundred bags of millet, fifty bags of beans, fifty Jerry cans of skin oil, 50 bags of beans, and 500 mattresses, and also 100 pieces of mat. So the, the, they are still collecting new arrivals, and uh, the kitchen has been properly set, and also the clinic for the IDP camp. No doubt the figures are amazing um, and, and very sad. 500 houses displaced and um, there are reports of hundreds of domestic animals lost to that particular flood. But what can you tell us about um, that particular area as the place been condoned half? Are we sure that there is nobody at risk in that particular local government as we speak? Well, actually, usually, you know, there will be you know, the issue of more falling of wealth. And for now, I think the people are just trying to keep what they can out of their properties. And also to see how they can dispose the domestic animals that were trapped in these uh, unfortunate incidents. Mm. So I've went around the area and I've seen that that's just one of the things that the people have been doing. For the men who have been away from the town, some of them came back um, late today. They, some are arriving today trying to locate where their loved ones uh, spend the night. It's all right, Awal. Uh, uh, even though Nimet had earlier uh, forecast normal rainfall uh, across the country earlier in the year, it also warned that continuous rainfall could negatively impact some states, um, which it named Casina as one of them. Uh, the governor was quoted to have mentioned that this was a purely natural disaster. But what can you say about um, the environment where this particular incident occurred, are there proper drainages? Would you say the people actually did take preventive measures to uh, avert this particular incident? Well, actually, this particular incident, actually, uh, it's cool to say it has to do with uh, a lack of proper drainages. But actually, the drainages have been put in place. But it turns out the sample was heavy. So there was a heavy flow from the river. Uh, that, that divides the Jibia town into two, and the river flows to Niger. So what happens, instead of the river to be the collection point now from the houses, then it, you know, end up, you know, dispatching, it's taking water back to those houses. It's so all right. The drainages have, were filled up, so they just have to flow back into uh, people's houses, so back down, so that's why I think we have this uh, a high number of houses being affected because I think in some of the areas, the bed of the water was as high as uh, 10 meters. Awal, uh, just before I let you go, apart from um, the relief materials provided to the over 1,000 displaced people who are now in ID camp, as you mentioned earlier, how would you reach the condition of life for these people? Well, for now, as of this morning, it's not looking all that pathetic. 
based on how they have started being handled in the STD. And there has been an appeal that uh, people should try to see that they assist these people at individual level. And I understand some of them have started going back to their respective, you know, their families. While those who are yet to find where they can put their heads, they are coming back to the IDT camp. And we, we are expecting more relief materials also. You know, the first bad is just from the governor himself. Then the state emergency management agency is expected also to bring its own. And also, we, we learned that NEMA has been reached and they promise to arrive soon with some packages of relief materials for the victims. Thank you, Awal Ibrahim, Tivisa News correspondent in Casinas.